What is up, guys? It's Tyler from Bullseye Investing here. Today, we're going to be talking about the agreement between Lordstown Motors and Camping World. I'm going to talk about their plan. I'm going to talk on my thoughts on the plan. And I'm going to do this in the perspective of Lordstown Motors. It's a real exciting thing that's going on right now. So, we know right stock. It pushed up and then it dropped. This is actually where I spot it. It pushed up again and now it's on the way back down, okay? Or it seems that way. But I'm very bullish on the long term of this company. So this agreement has made multiple headlines, these and these. So what actually is it all about? We're going to be talking about the plan in detail right now. But let me just give you a quick overview of the plan before we go into the details and the timeline. So Lordstown Motors and Camping World are partnering to create batteries to electrify RVs with the goals of actually putting a fully electric RV on the market. Now, this is the main headline that you're going to see, right? But this isn't the only part of their goal. And the second part of their goal might actually be Lordstown Motors' more beneficial thing to begin with. So they're also going to be upgrading their infrastructure. And Lordstown Motors will be able to capitalize on Camping World's infrastructure to what the companies call the most comprehensive EV support systems ever designed. Okay, I'm real excited about this one. And really briefly, let's look at their RV plan. They want to make it the first Class E motorhome. They want to make it affordable for millennials. Camping World CEO actually said that millennials would be a huge market for Camping World in the future, so they want to make it affordable for them. And they're also teaming with Thor and Forest Rivers in the making of the RV, okay? So that's just the basics of the RV. They want to make it fully electric, of course. And they're not stopping at just road travel electrification with battery making. They say they're going to run the whole thing from creating battery packs that enable travel trailers to go off grid, which is a huge thing, right? Because trailers are often going off grid to building out an electric motorized RV. So this plan is going to be comprehensive and Lordstown is going to be a part of this. Okay, guys. Now, let's go into their time frame. So together, the two companies want to produce an electrified road travel vehicle by summer of 2021. They want to get their electrified travel trailer as well as their fifth wheel RV but sometime in 2021. So they don't have an exact time for 2021 that they want these two things to be produced. And they say that they want an electrified model by 2022. Okay, so that's just a quick time frame on what the companies actually want to accomplish at certain times. So let's look at the important part, right? We talked about the RV. We talked about the characteristics of the RV, right? They're just wanting to make a fully electric RV to put on the market by 2021-2022 about. But let's talk about the part which I believe will benefit Lordstown even more. It's not a headline thing, right? Lordstown Motors getting into RVs, that's the headline. But this is an important part too to consider, and that is that there's a partnership to create a national electric vehicle service and collision network with Lordstown Motors vehicles including their pickup truck, right? So they had a joint news release announcing this partnership. And I believe this is hugely beneficial for Lordstown Motors just because their pickup trucks are able to get, uh, they're able to leverage the infrastructure of Camping World, okay? Let's go into this a bit more. Camping World is gonna spend $4 million into this infrastructure. And what does that include? It includes their service, collision centers, technicians, service base, call hotlines, and roadside assistance programs to, as I said before, make this EV support system, okay? This might even go beyond the realm of just Lordstown and Camping World, okay? This could expand, and I see huge growth potential in this, okay? Now, let's see what uh, Steve Burns, this Lordstown Motor CEO, has to say on this. He says that their partnership with Camping World will help ensure that their fleet customers have the highest possible uptime of their vehicles. And he says, on top of that, working with Lemonis, which is the CEO of Camping World, and his team to bring EV solutions to the RV market is quite exciting. And I think it's exciting too. A fully electric RV, the first one, and Lordstown's going to be part of that. They're going beyond pickup trucks. Now they're an electric vehicle company, all right, guys? And there he's excited the first to market opportunities this partnership affords them, okay? So this is huge news for it. And let me just go over my thoughts. I know I've been saying my thoughts throughout this video, but let, let me just give a summary of my thoughts. I believe that this is a huge contract for Lord's Time Motors, right? Okay, we saw the stock drop 7% today. Now might be the time to buy. Drop 7%. It's been dropping. But I believe this Camping World partnership is hugely beneficial. It brings Lordstown Motors outside the realm of just pickup truck company. Now they're also working on RVs, which is another huge market for RVs, right? 
and it depends on how well they can leverage the infrastructure. But I believe here in Camping, World, Camping World's plan that they will be hugely benefit benefited from this partnership. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this one. Thanks for watching.